Hi, everybody. It's Trevor Hammond here with Sierra Pacific Mortgage. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, I'm going to bring you a tip today on how much your time is worth. I want you to really know how much you're worth and how much your time is worth. I've been diving back into high trust selling. Um, this is a conversation always within my team, my branch, but some of you may know I am a certified high trust coach. Uh, so I coach for Todd Duncan around the country, uh, some of the top mortgage professionals. But the 14 laws in this book are also really foundational to how my team in Portland here really provides a high trust service to our clients and our business partners. So let's dive in. I'm going to kind of go to the whiteboard, so to speak, here. And law six is the law of the hourglass. All right. And what it is, just by definition, is you must make your moves before your time runs out. And so you see, I've got the image of the hourglass here. And it's really making the most of every day. That's, that's kind of the theme of this chapter of the book. And some of us, right, do the most with every day and we're very productive and some of us aren't. And right now we're in a time when many of us are working from home and we've really had to, to just double down on our daily routines and, and how to be productive sitting at a home office with others around us. But regardless, we all have 24 hours. And the most successful professionals across the country just make more money per hour. You know, they're more productive with the time they put in at work. So the starting point I wanted to share with you today is really just asking yourself the question, what is my time worth, right? And I'm asking you, what is your time worth and how do you calculate that? And then how do you, do you live by that and operate your business by that? So the simple way to do this that we do with all of our clients and I'm doing uh, for all of my team this week and next week, uh, we're going to get caught up on our hourly rates because it is a way to measure your productivity. You know, I'm not in this business to work more hours and make less in the time that I work. I want to be more efficient and more effective with the time I do put in. I want to make more money in less time with a lot less stress involved. All right. So it starts with knowing what my time's worth. And I operate around that when I talk to clients and I, and I, I map out my schedule and, and my time management uh, per se. But what I want you to do is really first look at how much commissions you earn in April. All right. And then go back through your calendar and figure out how many hours did I work? And don't just go 40 hours a week times four hour, four weeks a month. Did you work any weekends? You know, did you respond to a realtor uh, calling you who needed a pre-approval letter? Uh, did you get the kids to bed and then go back and hop on your computer for an hour or two that night? Uh, did you have some late Zoom appointments with people? Uh, for those of you that aren't at your office right now as I record this, be honest with yourself about how many hours you're working. So here's a quick example. Let's say in April you closed a million dollars of loans and you get paid 125 basis points per loan. Okay, so that's a commissions of $12,500 for the month. And if you averaged about 45 hours a week, that'd be about 180 hours for the month. So simply divide 12,500 by 180 and you get $69.40 per hour. That was your hourly rate for the month. Now, why this is so powerful is this becomes one of the single most powerful metrics, a way for you to measure your effectiveness as a business leader. You know, is your hourly rate going up over time? And then as you look at your calendar and what is filling your day, are they $69 an hour activities, right? Or if your hourly rate's $100 an hour, $500 an hour, I've got coaching clients with hourly rates of $1,000 per hour. So you've got to run your business and manage your activities as if you're worth $1,000 an hour. If you need help, right? If you're over capacity, like many of us right now are, look at everything that takes up your day. Are you spending much of your day on activities that are 15 to $20 an hour activities when you're worth hundreds of dollars an hour? If that's the case, why aren't you going out and getting some help? All right. Now you may have some other reasons, but if you have options, you've got to think about that. And it starts with knowing what your time is worth. So I hope that's helpful for today. Just a quick dive into high trust selling again, uh, the law of the hourglass. I'm going to bring more of these to you because these are a fundamental part of why our team is seeing a lot of success right now, why our mortgage professionals 
are tracking their core metrics like this and really understanding how to build a high trust business that is scalable and predictable over time. All right. If you ever have any questions, please reach out. I'm here to help. All the best. Bye-bye.